The day I turned 18, I set out for Oregon. I bought 80 acres outside of John Day, Oregon in the Strawberry Mountain Wilderness and started to build a log cabin from the trees right around the area. I am Yvonne Pepin Wakefield and I'm on my log cabin porch outside of John Day, Oregon. This place came to me as kind of a vision. The night my mother died when I was 14, officially making me an orphan, I did not know where I was going to live, how I was going to live. But if I could make it to age 18, I knew I would get some of the inheritance my parents left for my education. I was in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and so I just thought, well, Oregon, I'll check out Oregon. I'd read some books on how to build a log cabin. So the first tree, I had the book out, it falls the wrong way and almost killed me. So I found a man named Jim who helped me build, and he basically taught me everything I know. I uh, started in 1975 and finished that year because I wintered it up here. It's all on posts up here, so they're on piers that are sunk four feet down below the frost line. So, I mean, everything in here was hand stripped, hand cut. The only mechanical tool we had was a chainsaw. It's too bad the light's not coming in now, but I'm, I'm still using the same kerosene lamps that I've used forever. Make your fire here, you can either cook on the flames inside or you can cook on the upper part. And come on up, see the little loft. And then so also for the summers I was up here, I had my little drawing desk right here. And I'd have a kerosene lamp on each side of the window. And this is where I did my artwork. This is my Google, which is a 1958 set of encyclopedias. But this is the luxury of the whole place here. It is the bathhouse. There's a hose hooked up in the creek. You fill up this tank here. You build a fire down in here, and then when the water gets hot here, you turn this on and it fills the tub. I originally was gonna build this cabin and then go back to college and decided after I built it, I was gonna winter it. So I stayed here until January. After three and a half months, I decided I couldn't winter it. So I went back to college, and now I just, I, I come up here at least twice a month. I'm an artist and an author, and that doesn't always mean like a regular paycheck. So I've taught in order to help support myself. Babe in the Woods self-portrait takes up after Babe in the Woods, building a life one log at a time. And it's like those, those six summers I spent up here. And that's really where I write about developing as an artist. Up until two weeks ago, there was no cell phone reception up here. There's no electricity. There's no outside connection. So I have what I hear outside and what I hear in, in here is a time to really unplug, to have different kind of creative energies come through me. I paint and I write. This little Dean Creek, which I hang out and drink from and bathe in, and it eventually empties into the Columbia River, which runs right past my brand new gallery and studio that I just had built down in the Dalles. I've been painting for decades the landscape in between here and there. And so like the landscapes I paint here end up in the gallery, just like the water here ends up going past my gallery. I have this little 200 mile radius bubble, which just works perfect for me. My life in the Dalles is great, and this place is great, and I, I just kind of go in between. And in between, you've got all the geological landscapes that inspire me as an artist. And also building this place, is, it's established a philosophy in me there were so many times I wanted to quit. It was just too hard. And if I had quit, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. <laughs>